working on my M&P 45 today. I've owned this gun for a little while and I use it in competition. Every time I fire it though, I start to build up a little bit of a callus and get a sore spot from my finger rubbing on the trigger guard right here. So what I'm going to do is remove this factory stippling and undercut this trigger guard a little bit. See if I can make this gun a little bit more comfortable to shoot. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open this up, check and make sure it's clear. We're going to remove this light and then we're going to remove the mag catch button so we can get to it and we'll also be removing this grip tape. And next up is grip tape. Alright, now we have a nice clean firearm we can work on. Okay, I'm going to try and remove this stippling right in here, down along here, up to the mag catch, back here right to where it starts to tie into the grip. Going across the bottom, make a nice straight line straight across there, come out the mag button, I'm going to remove all of this right here, get rid of all of that textured area. In front of this work, I'm going to use some plumber's abrasive cloth or emery cloth that's about 120 grit to do the basic shaping. And then I'm going to work my way down through various pieces of sandpaper until I get down to 600 grit material like we have right here. And we'll wet sand it. That way we get a nice smooth finish. It's the same color as the firearm when we get done. It isn't all gray and scratched up and rough looking. We should have a nice smooth surface that matches this outer surface of the firearm that's not stippled. Take this emery cloth and roll it around a round surface like this marker. And we're going to slowly start to take that material off of there. Being careful not to take too much at one time. You can always go back and cut more off. It's very difficult to add more back to a firearm once you've removed the material. Okay, you can see here, we have this shaped along here, rough shaped. We're going to try and stay out of this relief cut here and just round this edge over and we're going to stay out of this mag button area which is the relief for the mag catch there that we do not want to overcut into that otherwise we'll end up having a piece of this mag catch sticking out on this side which will look a little bit odd so we want this to blend really nice. Alright, we'll dress up this other side. Again, being careful not to get past this relief cut or into that mag catch area. see where this is starting to get light gray right here from the material being roughed up. We will smooth all that out later and get it back to the nice dark color that the firearm is. Get this 
little corner right here. Bring it out nice and smooth. Most of this can be done with just a round dowel, or in this case I'm just using the barrel of a Sharpie marker. It gives me several diameters to work with so that I can get the cuts exactly how I want them. Sometimes you'll see these undercut and they're the same shape as whatever cutter die was used to cut the undercut. You got a nice squared off geometric area there. I kind of like to have these blend into the frame a little bit more so it's a little bit less noticeable. It's not as pronounced, but it gives you the same comfort and it's just as smooth. it's rough shaped to just about the shape we want it in. As you can see everything's nice and round as we come around this corner here by the mag catch. All of this is uh, removed here so it's not quite as pronounced. A little bit more of a corner right there to remove. Be sure to stop every now and then and pick the firearm up and test fit it in your hand and make sure it fits well and you're not removing too much or the grip doesn't feel funny or you're leaving any sharp spots, high spots, that type of thing. In these cases, your fingers, by feeling this, will tell you more than what your eyes will tell you. It's feeling pretty good right there. It's a little bit of a radius here we need to add. That's looking and feeling pretty good now. Now it's time to move on to a little bit finer sandpaper. Okay, progressing right along. We're going to use some 400 grit sandpaper and some 600 grit sandpaper to smooth that up and clean up that surface. You may notice as you go over it with a smoother sandpaper that the material again begins to turn this nice dark color here and you start losing this gray undertone which came out from the roughness of the surface. Wherever it's gray, like this, the surface hasn't been sanded down enough. Wherever it's black, that means it's back to its original finish and its original level of smoothness. Okay, we're going to work on this a little bit more right through here. Finish smoothing up this bottom here, smooth up this other side. Then we're going to put the uh, mag catch button back in and check it for fit. Just going over this with some 600 grit sandpaper. Just trying to get that final finish on there. So it looks nice and smooth. Looks like the gun was manufactured that way. Right. Okay, we put the mag catch back in. You can see it's a nice smooth even fit. We've not undercut anything going into that mag catch whatsoever, which means when they, when they put a factory part back in this to replace this mag catch, you won't have to reshape this mag catch to make it match this undercut. This undercut's fairly subtle. See, it comes in and it blends right in with the existing finish. 
I'm going to do the last of the cleanup on this with some 600 grit sandpaper and wet sand it. And then I am going to clean it up a little bit and we will take a final look at it. Okay, I've done a bit of finished sanding on this. I'll clean this all up with alcohol through here. We'll take a look at the finished product. I'll wipe off all that grit and material. We'll probably put this gun in the ultrasonic cleaner to get it finally clean because there's a few marks on here from the markers and such that won't be removed by wiping it off with alcohol. So we'll ultrasonic clean this here in a minute. You can see right through here all that texturing that was sticking out is now back. We got a nice straight line along here with no texturing. Same thing on the other side, so if we're shooting a weak handed, we do have a little silver line we have to remove right here in a couple little spots. Um, one trick to really bring this back down to the original color of the firearm, which you can see it matches fairly closely from here to here, it's a little shiny. But one trick you can do is have a Dremel with a buffing wheel on it and a little bit of plastic polish I actually make a polished material for plastics put that on there a little bit of a low speed go across there for a final finish a final buff make sure you keep the wheel slow so you don't do any damage to the firearm this will uh, heat up and melt into this material fairly quickly. So you want to be very careful when doing that that you don't make a cut or a burn mark. You can see right along here where that's nice and smooth and the right color. So it looks like a pretty good match. Okay, I've taken this and cleaned it up. Done all of our final sanding, wiped all the marks off. You can see right here, this is what the finished product looks like. We've reinstalled the mag catch. If you look along here, we've got a nice smooth radius. It's back to the same color of the firearm, same surface. Same thing on the other side, just very nice light relief. Left that relief cut in there and did not mess with that relief seam at all. So it's a very, very slight undercut on this m and It uh, feels nice and smooth in the hands. So we will put it back together and uh, take it off the range and try it out. And overall, it looks like it's going to be a nice modification and something you could do for a few bucks yourself or it's something you pay a gunsmith about $40 and have done. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments down below. Thank you.